Attention, people of Earth, the hula painted frog is ext- Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 my bad. We just couldn't find him. There is no difference between fossils hundreds of millions of years old and many specimens of these same organisms still in existence today. Their remaining unchanged completely invalidates the theory that maintains that living things are in a constant state of change and that they constantly develop as a result of chance. Yet the fossil record demonstrates the exact opposite. The very first fish, reptiles, or mammals that emerged on Earth are exactly identical to present-day fish, reptiles, and mammals. Some species have become extinct, but no species has ever morphed into another. This demonstrates that God created living species independently and that living things have never undergone any evolution since the day of their creation. We may list a few of the many examples of this. Fossil fish belonging to the coelacanth class were once depicted as powerful evidence in favor of the myth of the transition from water to dry land. Based on the fossil remains of this animal, evolutionist biologists suggested that a primeval lung had developed inside the creature's body. This lie was described in a wide range of reference sources and illustrations showing the coelacanth in the process of emerging from sea onto dry land were even published. And all this was based on the assumption that the creature was extinct. In 1938, a coelacanth was caught by fishermen off the eastern coast of Africa. Since then, coelacanths have been found in a handful of locations here, as well as off the coast of Sulawesi. This living fossil has changed little since the age of dinosaurs. Coelacanths are covered in hard scales that help protect them from rocks and predators. Their fleshy, stalk-like fins propel them forward in a walking gait similar to four-legged animal movement on land. Coelacanths congregate during the day in caves at depths near 150 meters, descending to the ocean floor at night to feed. In 1989, the coelacanth was declared an endangered species. Scientists and governments are now trying to prevent it from being accidentally fished. They are trying to ensure that the coelacanth, which has survived 380 million years, is not wiped out in our lifetime. But there is a species that's still here. For over 200 million years, it hasn't changed in size or appearance. These prehistoric beasts are triops. Recently, triops have been discovered off the west coast of Scotland in Calabric, only the second population of these living fossils within the UK. Dr. Larry Griffin from the Wildfowl and Wetland Trust monitors the numbers of these triops. Well, I am very excited indeed, because I haven't seen these things in the wild. They should hopefully be sitting up in the shallows, maybe in uh, some of these cattle prints here. Ah, what, what? Are you joking? See, over there, um, it's the slight shape, just off that little ridge of mud there. I can see it, is yeah, that pale shape? It. Yeah, it's quite a large one, actually. And they're quick? Of, they're, they're, fairly, they're fairly nippy. Oh, that yeah. is incredible. Look at that! That's the first time I've ever caught a prehistoric monster. My goodness, that is a fair beast, isn't it? Triops are crustaceans and are related to crabs, lobsters and even our woodlice. With their hard exoskeleton, sensory antennae and specialised limbs, they feed on anything from dead animal matter to cow dung. And the three eyes, you can see why they're called triops, because they've got these three little eyes at the front. Two eyes on either side are their actual eyes, and then there's a tiny one right in the middle, which is a single little eye. To look at one of 
the most primitive of animals alive today, one that can truly be called a living fossil. It's one of the simplest multicelled organisms that we know, but its basic body structure has nonetheless enabled it to survive virtually unchanged for around 600 million years. It's a sponge. Sponges are just collections of simple cells that have clumped together and got stuck together. They don't have a digestive system or a nervous system or a blood circulatory system, and they get their food and their oxygen by just pumping seawater through channels in the body. Scientists studying fossil sea spiders from Jurassic Rock found they are just the same as today's sea spiders. By evolutionary reckoning, that's no change in 160 million years. We're off to New Zealand to explore an ancient nocturnal species that, believe it or not, walked the earth with dinosaurs. Tuataras, New Zealand's living fossils, haven't changed in 200 million years. Being reptiles, they live to be about 150 years old. These frisky fellows are more energetic than a human a third their age. Although fossilized specimens have been found in other parts of the world, they exist today on only a few islands off the New Zealand coast. The Woolamai pine discovery has been promoted as like finding a small dinosaur still alive on Earth. Found in August 1994 by a National Parks and Wildlife Ranger David Noble in the rugged Woolamai National Park about 200 kilometres northwest of downtown Sydney. The tree is named Willemia nobilis after the park and the discoverer. The Willamai has been widely promoted by evolutionary scientists as a true living fossil, unseen since the dinosaur age. It is also why the Australian company selling Willamai uses this fossil slab in its advertising. Such slabs contain catastrophically buried fossils of oricaria pines, ferns and fissures. The ironstone has preserved the fine structure of the fossils. Such slabs came from the most famous fossilised mass kill site in Australia, the Talbralga fish beds. They contain fish and fossil pine agathis so similar to living Woolamai they are increasingly regarded as direct ancestors. These fascinating slabs are full of evidence that the rock record formed quickly, there is no evidence of evolution, and there is abundant evidence that creatures like the Woolamai pine are genuine living fossils. Their present day form, for all practical purposes, looks the same as their ancestral form. A 100 million year old ant embedded in amber is identical to modern day ants. A 400 million year old sea star is indistinguishable from a living specimen. A 355 to 295 million year old dragonfly fossil is identical to those species living today. There is no difference between wasp fossils millions of years old and wasps alive today. A 190 million year old crocodile fossil compared with a living specimen. A tortoise that has undergone no changes and a 50 million year old fossil tortoise. There is no difference between a 195 million year old fossil shrimp and those alive today. The alleged evolution of plants is also no more than a myth. On the screen can be seen a living specimen of the plant Acer monspesulanum and a 30 million year old fossil. Fossils of the invertebrate mollusk known as the chambered nautilus 
frequently encountered in today's seas, are also found in Cambrian strata dating back 520 million years. The Nautilus has undergone no evolution from the time of its creation down to the present day. A fossil fish dating back 200 million years shows no difference between the old fish and those living today. The theory of evolution maintains that living things developed from simple forms to the more complex. This is a prejudice that does not reflect the truth. <laughs>